In this video we're going to change the uh, order of integration in order to evaluate this triple integral. So glancing at this you can see that um, it doesn't contain uh, y or x. You, don't, you do not want to evaluate this with respect to, um, to z. Um, so, so it's okay with y. Y is okay because uh, you can tr if you integrate it with respect to y you can treat this whole thing as a constant but you don't want to integrate it with respect to z so let's move the z right to the end so we want to change the order of integration from this switch these two around it would be easier so dx and then dz right at the end because if you try to integrate this with z it's very complicated so uh, we want to change it from here to here but in order for us to change um, we need to understand the region in which we're integrating over. So the next step is to draw a diagram to, uh, to see the region in which we're integrating over. So our, our region would be, so we've got our, our x, y, z, 3D space. Um, looking at the inner integral, uh, well, this is dy, so it's going to be y equals something, y equals something. And then here you've got z equals something, z equals something. And then the outer integral would be x equals something, x equals something. Uh, we have no idea what our region looks like, but um, let's just blindly draw this, y equals x. So y equals x, if you look at the uh, 2D representation of y equals x, it's just a straight diagonal line. So let's just imagine it to look something like this, not to scale. Okay, in 3D space. So this is our line y equals x. And um, now let's look at uh, z. Uh, we have no idea what it looks like, so let's just blindly draw this thing here. Let's just blindly draw this thing here. Hang on. So uh, z versus x. Z versus x. Um, this is a quadratic intercept of 4, and it's going to be a negative quadratic. So it's going to look something like this. Uh, intercept of 4. Uh, so this must be a 2. Um, so so on, our, on our 3D diagram, don't forget we're looking at this vertical sheet of paper here on the ZX plane. On the ZX plane. It would be an intercept of 4 and a gradient... Uh, sorry, an intercept of 4 and this will be a 2 and it's a negative quadratic. So imagine it to look something like this okay that's a negative quadratic let me just erase this just to clean up the diagram uh, and then uh, and then x is from 0 to 2 so you well this is 0 this is 2 this is 4 uh, so our region our region would look something like this that's our region there this 3d solid is our region Okay, so so now that we've got our now that we've got our solid, now that we've got our solid, we can start changing the order of integration. So now that we've got our region, now that we've got our our region, our the region which we're integrating over this three D solid, um, we now need to switch these two around. So we want to integrate it with respect to y, then dx, then dz. So switch these two around because you don't want you don't want to integrate this with respect to z. Leave that right at the end. Okay. So um, now we need to sort out our region because once you switch these around, you need to change the order. You need to change the order around. So in terms of y, in terms of y, in terms of y, that means you're moving like this parallel to the y direction so you're moving parallel to the um, the y axis like this so you're you're integrating from y equals 0 and then you leave at that diagonal line you you enter y equals 0 and then you leave at the diagonal line so you enter y equals 0 and then you leave the diagonal line that diagonal line is y equals x remember y equals x so um so now we need to look at um, x. So now we need to look at x. So let me just clean this up. We now need to look at x. Hang on. 
we now need to look at x so we are moving uh, we are moving in the x direction we are moving in the x direction like this we're moving in the x direction like this we're moving in the x direction uh, remember um, once um, once we've taken care of y once we've taken care of y this 3d solid will lose one dimension it will lose the y dimension so this 3d solid will get flattened down we get flattened down into into this um, into this vertical sheet of paper here so you've you've got a well once once you've taken care of the y the solid will lose one dimension so this solid will collapse down to uh, to this region here to this region here so now we are just concerned with this sheet of paper here, if you like and then uh, in terms of the x you're moving the x direction like this you're moving in the x direction like this you're moving the x direction like this you enter x equals 0 and then you leave at that curve you enter x equals 0 and then you leave that curve so you enter x equals 0 and then you leave this curve remember this curve was uh, z equals uh, 4 minus x squared so you enter x equals 0 and then you leave the curve what is this curve in terms of x it has to be x equals something so rearrange this rearrange this so it would be it would be um, uh, x squared equals 4 minus z and then uh, when you square root both sides you get the positive version hang on you get the positive version and you get the negative version well this here is a negative version x being negative we actually want the positive version so we don't really care about this negative thing here so let's just consider the positive version okay so so we are actually integrating hang on, let's look at it at our direction here we enter x equals 0 we enter x equals 0 and then we leave uh, at a curve that curve happens to be x equals square root 4 minus x so it will be square root 4 minus z sorry not x 4 minus z okay so so now hang on let me just clean this up let me just clean this up so now uh, now uh, we've got this vertical sheet of paper once we've um, integrated x we're going this vertical sheet of paper will lose will lose one dimension it will lose the z at uh, the x dimension so this um, this uh, 2d sheet of paper here will collapse down to a line so um, so it will it will collapse down it will hang on, it will collapse down it will collapse down it will collapse down it will collapse down to this to this line here to this line here because once you've integrated it with respect to x the uh, the the 2d shape here will lose one dimension it will lose the x dimension and then it will collapse down to this line so in terms of z you're integrating from 0 to 4 so in terms of z you're integrating from 0 to 4 okay so so our whole triple integral equals equals this thing here equals this thing here now now we've done the hard part we've tried we've changed the order of integration and it turns out that one when, when you change it the region becomes this so now it's just a matter of integrating this so when you integrate it with respect to y this whole thing here is a constant it doesn't contain y so when you integrate it it will simply be the the whole constant times y so when you when you integrate this it will then become this from zero to x from 0 to x so now um, you you can put this into the y that will then give you that will then give you remember you put um, x into the y it gets multiplied to the top here that's why you've got this x here and then when you put 0 into the y the whole thing disappears so it will then take us to here so now integrate it with respect to x so remember x is a variable this whole thing here is a constant so when you integrate it it will then become this so when you integrate it it will then become 
it will then become this from zero to this square root thing from zero to this square root thing and when you put this square root thing into here and then you square it all that you're left with is 4 minus z 4 minus z and then uh, and then put zero into there the whole thing disappears and then these two they're going to cancel each other out to give you to give you this and then uh, factor out well this half is a constant so take it out here that will then give us this so now it's just a matter of integrating this with respect to z so when you integrate it it will become minus cos 2z over over 2 from 0 to 4 and then uh, put this into here blah 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 your final answer is this thing here okay